hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to make the user side of the laravel e-commerce so we will be adding the navbar and slider in this video so let us get started with it so let us see the browser so this is our output right so on this home page i don't this thing i will need the slider and the navbar and the main page of my e-commerce so let's start with the coding part so here this is our web.php and it is written over here right so let us go to that folder resources views and this welcome blade is being shown now so we don't want to show this so i just created a folder over here called front end and in that we have an index blade file okay so here we need to extend a layout so inside your layouts you can see we have admin blade and the app blade so this is the default thing and this is your admin blade.php so let us create one for the front end so new file say front end or front will be now front dot blade dot php hit enter and you can just copy the same thing from the user admin and paste it over here so we don't need the sidebar remove that and main panel you can just remove all these things okay and css also you can just see and remove this wrapper also yeah and for this css and js we'll just make it separate so we are not going to use the admins we have front end here css so we are going to call this css and this js which we had pasted over here in the beginning so this is nothing just the bootstrap css and js we have installed in our local folder here so i'm going to remove this thing and i'll just give rename copy that name and here inside the front end folder front end js and yeah paste save and for the css it is again going to be front end css and custom.css also is required so i'll just copy and paste the other thing for the bootstrap remove this thing and here it's going to be bootstrap bootstrap5.css save and for the title right so here this thing is there right we'll just remove this and here you're going to say add yield of title so for each page we have dynamic title right so as uh, as per the page this title will be changing so, and the content will be over here and the scripts will be over here so this is a sweet alert if you need you can keep it or you can remove that so i'm going to use that so i'll just leave it like that okay so now this should be enough so let us save and call it in our page so inside front end index i'm going to say extends layouts dot front okay save and here say section section of title title i'm going to say e shop you can say welcome to e shop this is the home page so and here say section of section of content and here i'll paste a h1 tag say welcome so now let us put the routes and this thing is right we'll just comment this out Let's say route get for the front end we need a front end controller right so let's check if there is an existing controller app http controller we just have home controller and a controller so we'll just create a folder here front end it's a new folder called front end inside that we need a controller right so let's create the controller first 
comment this out or it's going to throw an error new terminal yes here let us say php artisan make controller inside the front end folder we need right so i'll say front end slash how do you say it's let's call it front controller front end controller hit enter controller created successfully http controllers yeah so just rename this to capital rename capital f close the terminal and here i'm going to say function index function remove this thing and let us go to the routes and just call the controller or here so i'm going to say just copy this thing paste so this is nothing but use the directory of your controller so inside app http controllers front end say front front end and this will be the front end controller save and paste the controller over here so remove this thing and inside your square brackets call the controller that is going to be front end controller class comma your function name that is going to be index save so let us go to the controller and oops let's go there yeah remove this code and say return view front end index put semicolon over here just plus control and click on this it will take you to that page so now let us check the output go to your browser and refresh so you have got this right so we need to set the navbar and the slider so first let us create a file for the navbar so inside layouts inc so let me create it inside the front end now yeah here itself will create it here let me say front front navbar dot blade php okay so because we have the admin navbar also here so i just name it front navbar and for this code let us go to get bootstrap dot com hit enter and here it is so say docs search for navbar hit enter and we are going to take this one yeah copy that and go to your file paste okay save it and i'm just going to remove this container fluid just the fluid so it will be in a container change this to e shop href will be url of home path okay so that's enough and let us include this in the front blade okay so where we have the layout so before the content we need to include this say include and this is inside the layouts say lay layouts dot inc dot front nav bar save now let us check the output so go to your browser and refresh okay so this thing has come let me just push all these tabs to this side go to your nav bar and you can see here this ul is there right here just type ms auto save and refresh so it has come over here okay so this nav bar part is done so we'll just make it or oh, it's good so I, i was just thinking to make it dark so you see this right nav bar light bg light you can just change that to dark and you can see the changes refresh so the background is become black and the text has become white so let us just leave it light itself for now later we will change it according to our needs so i'll just close this 
layout also and save let us get the slider now so go to your getbootstrap.com and search for slider and here we have the slider so uh, i prefer this one the third one so here you have this and the navigation tab over here also so just copy that and create a file over here inside your inc create a file say slider dot blade dot php hit enter and paste the code over here save so let us include this in our index page so here include it's inside layouts dot inc dot slider save and before checking the output we need to add the images right so i'll just put an image inside my public folder so inside a public assets images so we have a dummy image over here so i'll just add an image over here for the slider so i have added a slider image over here so let me just call that over here in this src asset function inside that it is under assets images slider dot jpg so if you have different images you can call them slider 1 slider 2 and slider 3 over here so i'm just pasting the same image for all three paste and paste save so now let us just check the output close this file and refresh so here it is you can see so our slider is perfectly working so here if you need a text right so you can either do it by css or you have an option over here you can take this thing and edit it accordingly so this slider is a static one right so we have hard coded it we have directly written that inside the code so in the upcoming videos we will see how to make a dynamic slider so you'll be able to add the images from admin panel and which we have to show we will check over there and we will just make it active over there in the admin dashboard so that's it in this video guys in the next videos we will see how to fetch the products over here and display it over here and make a dynamic slider so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again